Scouting Health MECs, Dotani Mashlangu and Brian Tlongo will keep their provincial executive committee posts and ANC membership cards. This despite being found guilty of bringing the party into disrepute. It was under Mashlangu that 140 psychiatric patients died after they were transferred to unlicensed NGOs. Shongwa, on the other hand, being accused of stealing millions of rand in allegedly corrupt transactions. For more on this, ANC Gauteng spokesperson, and that's Tasneem Mutara, joins us from our Cape Town studios. Uh, Ms. Mutara, thank you very much for giving us your time. So, on the decision of the Integrity Commission, your statement very clear that uh, the provincial executive is unanimous that the cases against Kotan Mashlangu, Brian Shlongwa, and of course, let's not forget Mr. Simon Mofugeng, should not be treated lightly. What exactly do you mean when you say should not be treated lightly? Well, yes, uh, the matters between the three comrades, uh, as they presented themselves in front of the Integrity Commission, um, found grave errors of judgment on their part, for instance, on the side of Comrade Brian Mashlangu, um, sorry, Comrade Brian Klongwa. Uh, and then Comrade Simon Mofuking, his case is in court. And because of the commission, the, the, in, the commission of inquiry that went into the life as many process, we also found that these issues, because of the way they've come out in the public domain, um, have brought a lot of humiliation um, both to the members in their personal capacities, but also to the members as they are members of the ANC and representatives of the ANC. Yeah, but you still have not answered the question, what exactly do you mean when you say these cases ought not to be treated lightly? Uh, well, it shouldn't be treated lightly because simply because um, there were results as a direct um, direct results of the actions of Comrade Kedani's decisions in the department. We all know that they, the decisions that she took resulted in the deaths of those people. Um, and now the Department of Health in the province has had to undergo uh, payment to, to the families. Um, Comrade uh, Simon Mofukeng, like I say, his, court, uh, his matter is in court. Um, and they relate to uh, a number of issues around uh, sexual grooming, for instance. And that, especially in today's time, cannot be taken lightly. And that is why the family has decided to take um, Comrade Sai to, to court on criminal charges. And then the issue around Comrade Brian is that um, he has faced accusations and allegations over the past eight years. Um, the unfortunate part about his case is that it has not gone to court. The National Prosecuting Authority has still not prosecuted him, and it has taken eight years. They still haven't taken a decision. We as the ANC want the matter to be um, held in court and listened in court, and um, the outcome of the court, will de the court process, if it does get prosecuted, uh, will help us further um, in how we deal with this matter. And so you'll agree with me then uh, if I say to you, so the party did not take kindly to these actions because of the kind of uh, tainted image it brings to the party. Am I right? Definitely. How can we? Uh, you can, I mean, just from the comments in the public um, uh, around allegations, accusations, uh, the families of those uh, who have lost their loved ones in the life as a Domeni tragedy, um, it's not taken lightly at all. The, the, the image of the ANC, uh, its standing in society, has really been tainted by these things. And so the integrity of the ANC has, has come at stake. So why then is it important to retain Kutani Mashlangu and Brian Shongwa in the leadership structure of the ANC in Gauteng? The Integrity Commission made uh, two categories of recommendations. One, as it relates to them being public office bearers uh, and holding public office uh, on behalf of the ANC. And the second was them uh, in relation to their membership. Uh, where the ANC can directly act uh, without a different constitutional process is that we can remove them from, from uh, public office. Uh, you'd know that Comrade Simon has left uh, 
his office as a mayor. Comrade Kaitani did the same as MEC and member of the legislature. Uh, following this integrity commission process, uh, Comrade Brian Klong attended his resignation, which the ANC then accepted. But the second category of recommendations relate to their membership in the ANC and in its structures, which is not the purview of the Integrity Commission. So we could only agree with those recommendations made that are within their jurisdiction. The recommendations that are not within their jurisdiction reside with the disciplinary um, committee and the comrades have not been charged at, at a disciplinary committee level. What leadership qualities will be lost to the ANC in Gauteng if you let go of Katani Mahlangu and Brian Tlongo? Why are they so of value to this party? Well, um, the, first of all, I mean, they've both served the ANC for many, many years in different roles in the different structures of the ANC from the days of the, the Youth League right up until the Provincial Executive Committee where they serve now. Uh, Comrade Bryan will soon be completing 40 years of service uh, as a member, unbroken service as a member of the ANC. He comes with him a uh, real, with a lot of experience, expertise in the ANC, the ANC work, the type of political work that the organization deals with. Um, we refer to him and even to Comrade Kredani uh, Matlangu as commissars of the ANC in terms of the the wealth of experience and knowledge they They've have the in the way the ANC man. runs internally. Their decisions, for instance, the decision of Comrade Kedani resulted in the unfortunate ev event that led to the deaths of those people. Uh, Cost-saving measures in all departments is important and uh, whether anyone could have predicted or not that cost saving in the Department of Health would have resulted in deaths is a debate for another day. But I think had it not resulted in the deaths, everybody would be celebrating that the department has found cost saving measures. Now she takes decisions in her executive, um, in her role as an executive member, the MEC of Health, to cut costs in the department, which is, a, 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 which is something that all departments have to do. Um, it resulted, unfortunately, in the deaths of the of of the, the of the um, the mentally ill patients, and she then fell on her sword, resigned from the legislature, resigned from uh, being a member of the executive council. Now she served as a member of the executive council for many many years and has taken good decisions for departments that she has served in. Um, in the various portfolios, this decision, a, a decision that led to the unfortunate de le led to the unfortunate events, uh, caused her to resign, and she took responsibility for those decisions that had a negative negative result. But insofar as they are members of the ANC and the contribution that they make to the ANC internally, in terms of um, just the political activism and political knowledge that they have. Um, is really, really of great wealth to the organization. Okay. So on Friday, you as the Gauteng ANC will be leading what you've called a People's March to the union buildings where you will have the president of the country receiving your memorandum according to your statement. Now, among the issues that you'll be marching for is etols, corruption, among other important issues. Will Katani Mahlangu and Brian Tlongwa be at the forefront of this match as leaders of the ANC? Well, they, like I said, they are members of the PEC and we are calling on all members of society, uh, citizens of Gauteng, uh, whether you are a member of the ANC or not, uh, to join the march. And I'm sure if they are available, they will be there. So if they're available, they will be there. And you expect members of the public to take the ANC and its president seriously when they're saying they are cleaning up corruption? Well, well the issue around Comrade Kledani is not anywhere related to corruption. So I don't know how the two relate. It's a moral uh, this issue. This is about, and Comrade uh, Brian, Comrade Bryan has not been charged for eight years. He's even himself been asking that this matter go to court so that he clears his name uh, because he maintains that he's innocent. Uh, for eight years, I think justice delayed is justice denied. 
we also, for his sake and the sake of the ANC, want to see it in court. Uh, the SIU investigation has been out for years, eight years to be in fact, but the prosecuting authority is just not prosecuting. And one needs to ask, why are they not prosecuting? Uh, do they not find reasonable grounds to prosecute? He right. maintains that he's innocent and he wants his day in court. Okay. All right, uh, Tasnim uh, Mutara. She speaks for the ANC here in Gauteng, insistent that uh, if Tatan Maslangu and Brian Songwa are available to lead that march against corruption, among other issues, um, they will lead that march if they indeed are available.